If you've been following deer droppings for the last few months, you'll notice that we've undergone a lot of really positive changes. We're focusing on doing more and more stock design packs, more events all across the country, and coming up with a few new products that are going to be released within the next three or four months. So you want to keep your eyes on that. With regards to our stock designs, you'll notice that on our packaging we have the EMB file format. And this file format is a, is a format that no machine or no software in the industry can read except for Wilcom software, which is a software that I use to professionally create my designs. Now the advantage of having that EMB file is if you download the free program called TrueSizer that you can get online or through any of the design packs themselves, you are able to take our EMB file and resize that design. It will keep all of the properties, densities, underlays, everything associated with that design will be recalculated so you can take a design, blow it up 50 or 100 percent and you're going to get much better results. Now that we've loaded our free TrueSizer program, I just have to double click on the icon and TrueSizer will come on the screen. Now I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to find where my designs are being placed. Now this one I called Country Critters. I'm going to go to my Design Files. I'm going to go to the file folder that says Wilcom Resizable Files. Double click and all of my Wilcom files will appear. You can tell which ones they are because you always have that little W icon associated with the file name. Now if I choose that file and open it, that design will appear on the screen. If I press the number 1 on my keyboard, it will bring it to a 1 to 1 scale. At this point, I press Control A, which highlights the entire object, and then I can right click on the object, and my object properties come on screen. This is where you're going to change the size. If I want to change this design from 4 inches in width, I can change it to 5 inches and that increases it 125 percent. So on the height I'd want to do the same thing and increase it by 25 percent. Now if you notice the stitch count right now on this design is 12,878 stitches. When I press OK it's going to regenerate all of the stitches, make it the size that I requested, and the stitch count is changed to 14,938 percent. So it has automatically adjusted all the properties within that object. Now, if I go to File and then Save As, I can save this to wherever I want, whether it's a thumb drive, a floppy, on a CD-ROM, or back to my hard drive, and I choose the file type that I want to save it as. So if I want to save it as a PES file, I'll just save it there, press Save, and then it will give me the required hoop sizes, and I'm going to press OK, and that design will be saved in the file format that I need to run on my machine.